Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to build a PHP contact form with validation, okay? So here we are in the browser and um, I've loaded up the, an empty folder inside of a virtual host and um, as you can see right now, there's nothing in it. So I'll go to the terminal and just show you that there's nothing in it when I do an LS. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is let's launch this folder in uh, our Atom editor, okay? So we're going to do Atom. Um, dot forward slash so that's gonna go up and open up that folder inside of an editor for us okay as you can see um, there's nothing in it so the first thing that we're gonna do is let's create our index.php we're gonna do index.php and um, in there let's just open up uh, an HTML boilerplate and um, let's just give it a title of PHP contact form okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to link to the bootstrap cdn so i'll come over here and just do a link and um that all these we're going to leave them as they are but the href uh, i'll just paste in an http um, url that i got from bootstrap cdn so if you go to google and type bootstrap cdn or you can just um, type this link here manually okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a, a div container here div with a class of container and um, before we proceed, I'll just do an H2 here and just say PHP contact form. And I'll save that and we're going to go to the browser and I'll refresh that. As you can see now, we have um, some HTML being shown in the browser, PHP contact form. Okay, so let's um, continue building out the rest of our form. So um, just to make sure that the form is centered in the middle of the screen, I'm going to open up another div here. And if you're familiar with Bootstrap, you'll know what this means. So we're going to take a column of uh, which takes up 8 over 12 of the screen so column md8 and now we're going to push it two values to the right so we're going to do call md um, push and um, two okay so we're going to take this h2 header and move it right inside there so let's open up a form tag and a form tag um, will its action will be process.php which is where we're going to post our form data and then inside of the form, let's open up a form group. So let's do div with a class of form group. Okay. And the form will, um, will have a label, which is the label for the first name of our contact form. So um, it's going to be for first name. Because we're going to have to create a input field with an ID of first name. So let's give it a value of first name. Okay. So let's do input. And the input type will be text and the name will be a uh, first name. And let's give it the ID of first name as well. Okay, so let's save that and go to our browser and refresh. So as you can see now, um, we have a form, but um, the form is not being styled by a bootstrap. And the reason for that, I'm um, actually the form is being styled, but it's just this input field here. And the reason for that is because we did not give this um, input field here a class of form control so let's give it a class of form control so that bootstrap can style it because that's what bootstrap expects so now i'll come over here and i'll refresh and as you can see now that uh, form label here and input field is being styled nicely okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this form group um since we're going to need a first name last name email subject and a body i'm going to paste that um four more times okay so the first one is for first name second one is um last name just don't worry about these values we're going to change them accordingly in a bit um so first name last name email subject and the body so the body will be a bit different in that it's going to be a text area and um obviously don't forget the last one which is just the submit um button and uh, we're just going to remove this so input type equals to submit and we have to give it a value of send to send um, the contact details okay so we're going to remove all this id and we're going to remove name as well and for the class for of the submit we're going to give it a class of btn standing for button and we say btn primary so that it's um, styled as a blue link okay so i'll go to the browser and i'll refresh as you can see um seems like there's a mistake in our html here this text area needs to be closed okay so i'll just close that here Okay, so I'll come back here and I refresh and that should be fine. Okay, so we have first name, first name duplicated four times. Like I said, we're going to rectify that in a bit. And now we have a text area here, which is for the body. So I'll change the label for the text area to be body. And I'll 
change the forearm of that to be um, body as well so um, now let's um, change these names accordingly so instead of first name it's going to be last name okay and instead of first name here it's going to be last name for here it's going to be email instead of first name so I'm going to change this to email and I'll change the for and the ID as well and the name so let's say email and this will be the email of where we're sending the contact so for example someone comes to your um, website's contact page and sends you an email they have to specify their email as well so we're gonna do um, subject here as well and the subject will be subject and the text inside of label will be subject okay so now let's save that and go to a browser and see what we have as you can see now all the names are, are named accordingly okay but one more thing let's just make sure this button is pulled to the right so i'm going to add one more class here say pull right what that does is just floats the element to the right so instead of having this send button here to the left we're going to have it to the right now let's create one more file called process.php and um, inside of this open a php tag and just do a var dump of our post values dollar underscore post now I'll just come to here and then I'll fill in some data inside of it. So let's say um, Lisa Leon. Okay. So I'll just put an email of Lisa at um, gmail.com and the subject is hello and the body is hi. I was just greeting you. Okay. Now I'll just send this to that uh, process.php page. And as you can see now we're li listing out all the values um, in the post uh, variable. And um, yeah, so that brings us to the end of this first video. And in the next video, let's see how we can further um, continue this PHP contact form. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.